This week on Talk Asia, Pan-Asian heartthrob and screen idol Takeshi Kaneshiro discusses his difficult start in showbiz. I think I'm kind of shy person and it was very hard for me to do something in front of people. And reveals what it's like to work with the hottest Asian film directors. He was only talking, but you feel like you're watching the movie. Join me, Hugh Rimmington, for Talk Asia, only on CNN. Welcome to Talk Asia. Now there is a chance you haven't yet heard of uh, Takeshi Kaneshiro, but there is very little chance, if you care anything at all about Asian culture or film in general, that you're going to remain ignorant of him for very long. He's a pop star, he's an actor of considerable versatility, and now he's a model. After hit TV shows and 29 films, Time magazine has described him as a chameleon, the Johnny Depp, no less, of the Asian film industry. <laughs> He was an action hero in the ravishing movie, The House of Flying Daggers, but his latest film, consistent with his professional restlessness, is a big-budget musical, Perhaps Love. Takeshi Kaneshiro, welcome to Talk Asia. Hi, thank you. <laughs> it seems to me, looking at your career, you're still a very young man, you know, 32 years old, that you have almost, at every step, fallen upwards. All the time your career has gone on and, and, and got bigger. Uh, but your starting point was not always easy, was it, growing up in Taiwan? I think I was lucky, and um, luck helped me a lot in this business, because when I start to either sing or act, act, those were not something that I wanted to do when I was um, a student in high school. And I started to do this show business um, by coincidence, I should say. But, and the beginning was, something was interesting, but something wasn't so comfortable for me. Because um, I think I'm kind of a shy person. And it was very hard for me to do something in front of people that I don't know. At school, you, just, you say you were shy. You, it was harder than that. You were bullied at school, weren't you? Was that because you were, had a Japanese father and living in Taiwan? What? Maybe, yeah, maybe because my father's Japanese, my mother is Taiwanese, and I was, I was born and grown up in Taiwan. Uh, the people in Taiwan, they will say, uh, oh, they will say you're Japanese. But in school, I went to Japanese school, and um, the people in school, they will, they will say that you were Taiwanese. And maybe it was very, not so easy to, to recognize myself, which, you know, which, country a person I am. You were caught between two different cultures in some ways. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Do you think that that helps you understand some part of the roles that you play? Often you seem to play now? people, that, yes, often you seem to play people who are not quite at ease with their world. It, help, it helps in a way that when I start to work in Japan, because the Japanese helped you and because you know the culture, you know how to say the, you know how to ex expose the emotion in Japanese way or in Chinese way because I think they'll be different when the, when the language is different. Those helped, but I don't know if that helped in acting in different kind of characters. I think that's something different. You started off uh, in music. How did that happen? That was, um, I think it's kind of, um, um, the way they they publish uh, new young stars because I was 18 or 19 I guess and because I didn't have any any clear idea about this career yet and for me everything was a um, challenge and I just tried and somehow I think I was lucky that the people people start to like music or like a person. And then I got a chance to start to do movies. And that's how it started. So when you were being a singer, did it seem to come naturally to you? Not really. But because um, I tried to write some songs. So writing songs to, and sing the song you, you wrote by yourself was really great for me, <laughs> but maybe um, uh, the audience, they might not 
um, really listen to the work you did. They, they may be curious more about your um, dancing or singing as an idol star. As often happens in, in Taiwan, if someone is singing and building a career as a singer, you get asked to act in something. Yes. How did you make that transition? I, I didn't know I'm a singer or actor or something, model, I don't know, but any kind of opportunity was um, a challenge for me. And I think I was in, in, the, in the progress of, you know, to learn something. Anything I can do, I'll just learn. And, and somehow you will find something you really want to do. Maybe that was um, acting. When I'm in, in a, a studio, when we were filming, acting is not the only thing that, um, that I, will, I will watch when I'm working. <laughs> acting is only something that I'm doing. It's my, it's my, um, my job now. But the whole, the whole thing, the movie, making movies, a great, great creative, creating thing about um, a big art, big work. So maybe directing or photographer, the work of photographer, every man, every, every person in the set, the thing that they do really I'll feel interesting about them. Is it that curiosity? You, you've played successfully romantic comedy. You've played young men who are uncertain of themselves. But you've also played in House of Flying Daggers a hero, a fighting hero, and, uh, and now in a, in a, in a musical. Uh, what is it that, that is common to what you bring to that work? For me, I would just I'll just try the best I could do. And um, there, there are many things that I can do, I, I think, like martial arts, the great action, because we, we didn't learn the martial arts. What we can do is act, or you can say pretend, pretend to be the guy. But the step you, do, you can do is there is a limit. Or if you give me 10 years, maybe that'll be different. But what you could do is, I think acting is the only thing you can do. And I mean, the directors are great, Zhang Yimou or, or Peter Chan. I think they, they really, without them, that you, you couldn't really, really finish the job or really pretend to be the guy in the role. So I think they're, they're really important, great directors. We're speaking with Takeshi Kaneshiro when we return on Talk Asia. We'll be talking about his new movie, the musical Perhaps Love.